Because talking suddenly just went poof out the window. Poof. I regularly enjoy a nice alcoholic drink when I film my videos. If you've seen a couple of my videos, this isn't news to you. This is a cocktail. It's delicious. I already gave the recipe out once. I'll put it in the pinned comments. But this made me think. When was the first alcoholic beverage made on purpose? And which alcoholic drinks were made by the different ancient civilizations? Well, for that, I now have an answer. Because today's video will look into the invention of alcohol. What I quickly found out is that we humans have been drinking alcohol for much longer than I previously thought. And me looking into it really opened my eyes. So my name is Kaylee and today we're going to look into the invention of alcohol by the different civilizations. But before we start, I would like to note that animals, as most of you or maybe all of you know, have been eating fermented fruits for much longer than we humans have been drinking or creating alcoholic beverages. Just wanted to say that. The oldest intentionally created fermented beverages may have existed as early as 13,000 BCE. That's 15,000 years ago during the late Mesolithic or early Neolithic age. In Haifa, modern day Israel, the oldest verifiable brewery was discovered in a prehistoric burial cave. There were stone mortars found carved into the cave where the traces of a wheat and barley based alcohol was discovered. The researchers have hypothesized that the alcoholic drinks would have most likely been used for ritual feasts honoring the dead. There are some scholars that have proposed that the existence of alcoholic drinks would have been predating agriculture that it was the people who lusted for the alcohol which led them to cultivating crops. Of course, this is just a theory proposed by some. That doesn't mean that I personally believe in it or that I state it as fact. I just mentioned it because it was mentioned more than once during my research. There had been a discovery of Stone Age jugs dating from 10,000 BCE with traces of a fermented liquid that showed that alcohol has been a part of human life for a very, very long time. Although it's a shame that there's no information that I can find about these stone jugs and where they were discovered. Thankfully, there's a lot more information known about the earliest production of wine. This was discovered in the Neolithic village of Zhao in the Henan province of northern China. These jars had traces of a mixed fermented rice wine beverage, according to a published study in December in 2004 in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Science. Chemical analysis of the residue confirmed the fermented drink was created by the use of grapes, hawthorn berries, honey and rice, and they've concluded that this beverage was made somewhere between 7000 and 6650 BCE. The ancestors of the Chinese civilization then started to ferment a yellow wine known as Guangzhou from mixed boiled millet with rice. The Chinese civilizations at the time abandoned the production of grape wine soon after the invention of this yellow wine. And during the Han Dynasty, they abandoned beer as well. The rice wines were seen as an important part of their religious life, which was documented extensively. These drinks were usually served and consumed warm and flavored with additives as part of traditional Chinese medicine. Rice wine became their go-to drink. These alcoholic beverages had an alcohol percentage of approximately 20% alcohol by volume. Drinking alcohol eventually became such an important part in their society and were used by everyone for hospitality purposes, as a source for inspiration, sometimes it was considered as an antidote for fatigue, and of course, like we see with every mind-altering substance, the alcoholic beverages were misused as well. Between 1100 BCE and 1400 CE, there were laws against the production of wine enacted and repealed 41 times. 
Another instance of proven evidence of the production of wine in ancient times date from approximately 6000 BCE, were discovered in Georgia. And no, I do not mean the state in the United States, Georgia, but I actually mean the country, Georgia. The first alcoholic beverages that were made in Iran were created around 5400 and 5000 BCE. This was found in the Haji Firuz Tepe in the northern Sagros Mountains. A jar was excavated with a volume of approximately 9 liters, which equates to 2.5 gallons, which used to contain wine a very long time ago. Near this jar were 5 similar jars that all used to contain wine as well. These jars were embedded in the floor along one wall of what archaeologists believe once was a kitchen area in a Neolithic mud brick home. It's unknown if this fermented drink was used for intoxication as well as nourishment, but we do know the fermentation process was the best way to preserve and store the highly perishable grapes in the area. I have cats in the house. The door is open. I'm sitting alone. I don't think my cats love me anymore. Maybe they've become camera shy. Hmm. In Egypt, the first traces of alcoholic beverages date from 3400 BCE in the city of Heracompolis. The ruins of the Egyptians' oldest brewery were discovered here. This brewery was able to produce up to 1136 liters of beer per day. For my American viewers, that is 300 gallons. Beer and wine were deified and both were offered to gods often. Cellars and wine presses had a god whose hieroglyph was an actual wine press. The ancient Egyptians created a variety of alcoholic drinks. At least 17 types of beer and 24 varieties of wine are known to be produced by them. Beer was the drink mostly used by the common people, the laborers. In the financial accounts there have been reports found that the laborers of the Giza pyramid builders were given a daily ration of 5 liters, which equates to 1.33 gallons. In the Egyptian culture, alcohol was used similarly like it was in Chinese culture. It was taken for pleasure, nutrition, medicine, as part of rituals and funerary purposes, like storing jars with alcohol in the tombs of the deceased for them to use in the afterlife. In Egypt, moderation and drinking went hand in hand as well. There are written warnings of taverns and excessive drinking. In Babylon, beer was the most important beverage around 3000 BCE. And around 2700 BCE, the Babylonians started to worship a wine goddess, among other deities related to the alcoholic drinks. Of course, in the Babylonian religious culture, they had the same importance for alcohol as the Chinese and Egyptian religious cultures. Beer and wine were often offered to the gods here as well. In the famous Code of Hammurabi, there was a section devoted to alcohol, but no mention of a penalty for drunkenness. The Code only spoke about the concern for fair commerce in alcohol. The first alcoholic drinks in the Indus Valley appeared during the Chalcolithic era around 3000 BCE. The drink known as Sura was created from root rice, wheat, sugarcane, grapes and other fruits. This drink was very popular among the Kshatriya warriors and peasants. Sura was also the favorite drink of the god Indra. In Hindu mythology, Indra is the king of heaven and the king of the gods. The Hindu texts describe the beneficent use of alcoholic drinks, but describe the consequences of being intoxicated and alcoholic diseases as well. It describes how alcohol can be a medicine if consumed with moderation, but that it becomes a poison when consumed in excessive amounts. Both great Hindu epics mention the use of alcohol. In the Ramayana, alcohol is depicted in a good-bad dichotomy. The bad faction members consumed meat and alcohol, where the good faction members were abstinent vegetarians. But in the Mahabharata, the people weren't portrayed in such a highly contrasting manner. It's so interesting to see how these different civilizations invented their own alcoholic drinks from different products. Of course, there are much more civilizations that invented their own alcohol, but for me at the moment, it's a bit too much to put into just one video. So I've decided to split this video in two parts. This is part one and in a couple weeks I'll create part two. In part two we will look at the Greek, 
Roman, Sub-Saharan African and Pre-Columbian American ancient civilizations and their inventions of alcohol. There is a big reason as to why I am struggling to focus and have decided against putting this into one big video, even though usually I would create a 30 minute video and enjoy the entire process, but currently it's not something that I'm able to do. I will reveal the reason for this in the future in a community post and along my social media pages. But for now, I'd like to keep the reason private and I'd like to just focus on the good and the channel and fun things for as long as I can. I do enjoy a nice drink from time to time. And if you have seen my videos, like I said in the start of this video, you know that I sometimes drink alcohol while I film my videos, which is not necessarily something that will become a standard thing or that I will do with every video. It's just something that I decide, do I drink or do I not drink? I don't drink often and usually when I do, it's just one glass, it's very moderate. But I sometimes enjoy the fact to share a drink with you guys, know that you'll enjoy it. I like to say what I'm drinking. So this is uh, my personal favorite cocktail. It has strawberry syrup, a red berry juice, tropical juice, vodka and rum, because I'm a pirate and I like rum, yar. <laughs> to me, in this video, a drink was necessary, without a doubt. I mean, you can't talk about alcohol and the invention of alcohol without drinking alcohol yourself. But for the people that don't want to watch me thank everyone, but do want to watch me be an idiot, because I always leave some bloopers at the very end of this video, right before the end card. So if you want to skip to that, just go ahead, say bye to my face right now. And if you're still here and you do want to watch me thank people, then You've reached the end of this video. If you enjoyed watching, then don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you'd like to see more of these kind of videos and click that bell icon if you want to be notified whenever I upload or when part two goes live. If you haven't seen my previous videos yet, then click the card in the upper right corner. I've put links in the description down below and I always put videos in my end card. I would like to take a moment to thank my patrons Barry, Scott, Floyd, Vaughn, Rox, Jamie Hernandez, Don Fowler, Jeff Henderson, DJ, Klaus Jepsen, CivilPoliticsRadio.com, Ricky, Prabhu DC, Ira Whiteside, Malius Flavus, Tom Barkwell, Jeff Brooks, Ben Serinus, Andreas Angourakis, Dibbler666, Wolfgang Zenker, Chance Hutnall, and NGC6543. And of course, I would like to thank my channel members, Neighbors Guy, Malius Flavus, Henry Hewitt, Stephen Jenny, John Jiff, Barry, Eric van Dorp, the Giant, Milo Watlin, Harry Hans, Craig George, Moter, Fulpus Fulpus, Tim Smith, Marua Olbegen, Ira Whiteside, James Fisher, George Kovacs, Joffre Cueva, and Ben Oppenheimer. And as always, thank you so much for watching this video, and I will see you in the next one. And now it's cocktail time, where I can just finish this delicious cocktail before I eat dinner, because, oops, I filmed and drank alcohol before eating dinner. I would never burp. I did not just cut that out. I would also never swear like a drunken sailor. It's really not me. I'm really not a pirate. What I quickly found out is that we humans have been drinking alcohol for much longer than I previously thought before it has let her flatten. Come on, please, come on.